Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes on this beautiful day uh, in the uh, northeast, uh, down into the northern mid-Atlantic states. And uh, we are seeing, uh, well, not a whole lot of change uh, as far as where weather systems are, but starting to see some signs that things are going to start getting moving again. We still have this this low that is sitting off the coast near Nova Scotia. It hasn't moved in two days. Uh, it's put us at least in a sweet spot of dry air, but we're still dealing with some gusty winds. Those winds will start to diminish uh, as we uh, move through the uh, late afternoon and tonight slowly. Uh, they're not going to just completely drop down, but uh, the breezes will come off their peaks. In the meantime, you take a look at this and you think, oh my God, look at this big system that is out uh, over parts of the Midwest and Plains. And the clouds from it are relatively not that far away. But we've got a snaky little high that is built down the eastern seaboard or is going to be building down the eastern seaboard. That is going to protect us through the weekend. So we've got nice weather for Saturday and mostly nice weather for Sunday. I think late Sunday we'll probably start to see some of these clouds uh, moving eastward. So it's not perfect, uh, but, it's, and it's, but it is baby steps. Uh, to getting temperatures back to near normal because once we get into Saturday and Sunday, temperatures should bounce into the 60s on Saturday and probably mid to upper 60s on Sunday. Uh, a couple of notes as far as some watches and warnings. We do have red flag warnings up for New Jersey and eastern, the eastern half of Pennsylvania. It is very dry. Uh, it, it, this time of year, we can get days where relative humidities are down under 30 percent and sometimes we even get it down into the into the teens as far as relative humidities are concerned well that puts fire risk here for new jersey and eastern pennsylvania and also it doesn't help that we have these gusty winds so just be extra cautious if you're outdoors uh working with fire or lighting a match uh just be just be extra cautious meanwhile we do have uh, b big severe weather issues today in the plains and we've got high wind warnings up over uh, many areas across uh, Nebraska uh, and then uh, down south into uh, parts of uh, Kansas and eastern Colorado and into New Mexico. Also here, too, we've got red flag warnings that that's been going on for, a, for quite a while now. And we are going to see uh, some severe weather risk out of this. And in fact, the Storm Prediction Center uh, has put a moderate risk, a moderate risk of severe weather in parts of northeastern Kansas and southeastern Nebraska, a big area of enhanced risk that extends down into Oklahoma. The slight risk goes further down into Oklahoma to the Texas state line and a fairly elevated 15% uh, risk of tornadoes in that moderate risk zone and a large area of 10% risk uh, also uh, being indicated. And we also have a 30% uh, risk of hail and one of the things that was pointed out in a discussion uh, yesterday from the storm prediction center was that the setup in the upper air here is actually conducive uh, to some very large hail so uh, it's going to be interesting from a weather perspective to see what's going on the radars are quiet in the northeast we still have a little bit of leftover snow in eastern maine and some uh, sprinkles and snow showers in western maine uh, into just kind of sneaking in there into eastern New Hampshire. Not too much going on elsewhere. Some showers and a few thunderstorms over parts of Missouri and into Illinois and Iowa. And, of course, uh, the area that's indicated a severe weather risk priming up for some storm development later today. So let's go forward. We have the new afternoon GFS model run up. And we're seeing... I just want to show you a close-up of the upper air here in the northeast. And we're going to start with, this is back a few days ago, uh, when the block uh, started to take shape. You see the cutoff low over Maine, and it just sort of sits there over Nova Scotia right into this morning. That's going to slowly pull out. But it, because it takes its time moving out, we've got this ridge in between that puts us in that good spot for Saturday and Sunday. Now, Finally, it pulls out enough so that that plain system starts to move eastward. But by the time it reaches here on Monday, it's going to be really a shell of its former, former self. We have a short wave trough that's going to come through and produce a few showers. Then we'll get a little bit of a break on Tuesday, but another system is coming out. Uh, this, too, doesn't really look uh, all that uh, threatening, though I'm wondering with the strength of that trough whether we could see some showers and thunderstorms 
with that when it goes by. I'll evaluate that a little bit later on. And then the third system for later next week. Now, here's where the block is going to play a big role. You'll notice that the upper low, the bottom of this upper low, is sitting right over the northeast. We've got northwest winds in the upper atmosphere. Now, if, if that's the case, this system is going to move eastward, and it's going to wind up getting squashed to the south. So there's a chance that we could avoid getting some rain on Friday if that northern feature uh, can somehow squash this. Uh, on the other hand, it could also kind of lend a hand and just nudge it up a little bit uh, where it comes up a little bit further to the north. And we're sort of getting clipped by this on today's run on Friday. So that at least will be an improvement from a, a storm off the east coast. But then, of course, uh, behind that, we do have another system in the plains uh, that looks to maybe want to move across for the early part of the week of May. What is that? Let's go. This would be for the week of May 8th. So right on that. That's that's long, long term. So just real quick now, we'll just run through what it looks like on the surface here. And uh, evaluate our, our our weather from day to day. Let's get rid of that. And we'll put up uh, the uh, radar view. And, uh, of course, uh, we are, again, a nice clear night tonight. Still got those isobars there, so it'll still be some wind there into, tomorrow, into the overnight period. Should finally ease completely tomorrow. Uh, you see the low in Minnesota with this arm of showers to the west Saturday night. Uh, they don't make a whole lot of eastward progress. We'll probably have some clouds arriving on Sunday. Maybe a couple of showers down in southern Pennsylvania into northern Virginia and western PA. There should be enough of a ridge to hold that, to keep those showers away until maybe Sunday night or early Monday. Doesn't really look uh, like much. Then it goes out. Tuesday, we'll see the approach of the next weather system Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday with a cold front and maybe a shower or a storm with that. Then that goes by, and then we'll watch the system for late this week that moves across. You see how it moves east and kind of takes a route uh, across uh, Kentucky and into Virginia, trying to get squashed, which would be a plus and at least catch us a break. And then the fourth weather system, well, that's a long ways away, so we'll see how that plays out. So uh, enjoy the sunny weather in spite of the wind. Temperatures today should make it up to upper 50s and low 60s, mid 60s tomorrow, upper 60s on Sunday, and then we'll start to see what these weather systems will do to us for next week. Have a great rest of your Friday and a wonderful weekend.